once we've fully constrained this profile and we verified that it's constrained, we're ready to go ahead and make a solid. So we're going to make this solid here, and I want you to take a picture of this when you're done. And this is your Katia model. You hopefully remember how to get out of the sketch environment by hitting this exit feature. Again, once it's fully constrained, we can exit out and we can go into the model tab and there's a feature called pad. The sketch should already be highlighted. If it's not highlighted, pick on it. But it, when you exit the sketch by default, unless you click somewhere, it's already highlighted. So don't click on anything. Just go right to model and hit pad. What pad will do, do is take that sketch and extrude it as a solid entity. This is actually the easiest part. You simply hit the pad feature and it takes that sketch and it remembers whatever it was last in, used. I think in your case you'll be new so it's going to be something like 787. <clears throat> something, it will look something like this. For the length you can change it to 1 and hit tab don't hit enter. I could hit the up arrow and then I can select OK. And there's your solid. If you didn't create it the right size, you don't have to start over. You can just double click it. So anything on Katia, pretty much you want to change, you double click. So if you look at the example, this part I believe is supposed to be three inches. So I'm going to come back to my part. And all I got to do is double click the solid. All these parameters that I did in the sketch show up as well as the length over here. Now, you notice the dimensions or constraints, I should say, are all in the back of the part. I want the dimensions or constraints on the front of the part. So to get them on the front under direction, I'm going to use this invert option. So in that pop-up window, I hit invert. I hit preview. And now it's going the opposite direction where I can see all these constraints. If I come over here and I type in 3 and hit enter, it's going to automatically take that. And then I'm going to sit here and wonder, geez, did I really get uh, that in there? I'm going to double click this and double check that. Yes, I have these measurements and that is 3 inches. All right. So anytime you want to modify something, you just double click it and you can change it. For example, I could change this 4 to a 5 by double clicking on it and changing that to a 5 in the pop-up window. I could change this 2 to a 3. Change that to 3 and hit enter. I select OK and it's just that easy to change a part. If I hit the view tab and hit fit all in, it'll fit it back into the screen. Alright, that's a perfect part except for I change the dimensions around. I'm going to double click it change that 3 by double clicking that 3 and change it to 2 it was and then change this one I believe it was to 4 and that's how I change the size of the part. It's like OK so if you did something wrong it's no big deal you can always change it. I can do a fit all in. When you're done with this part you're going to make a picture. What you got to do is hit ISO view fit all in and that's the picture I want. I want to see the tree I want to see that you have just this one sketch and no other sketch anywhere else, no other pad anywhere else. This is what your tree should look like. The name, yours might say pad 1, but everything else should pretty much be identical. It's just letting me know that I've already created a pad and I deleted it and I recreated one. All right, take a picture of that and then submit it because that's what we're doing on the online doc. I want this picture and I want this picture. And then I want to create some measurements. So what I want you to do is go check out my measurement tabs um, playlist and see if you can figure out from that playlist how to add these three measurements. You might want to have some fun and see if you can change the material as well. But I'm really just looking for these three measurements and then we're going to be good to go on to the next exercise.